along with basic cleaning and oiling on the Bernina 570, there is actually a way to clean out what is called the thread catcher. So you know that this machine has an automatic cutting system and that can actually get some lint and threads caught in it. So I wanna show you the steps that have been designed in the setup area of this machine for you to actually take care of it yourself. I've already removed the needle, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the foot off and then remove the throat plate. If you notice in the back corner here, there's a little bullseye. If you take your thumb, press down on it firmly with your second thumb, that's how I do it, and then that will kind of bring the front edge up. Now I still have my bobbin in, and you can do this without having to remove anything from down below. So we're gonna come back to here in just a second. Next, go to the home button, touch the gears for the settings menu, and go into the sewing machine area. In here, you're gonna go into the wrench, and this little sweeper icon is what we're going to go into. Now, it's going to look like you are just in a tutorial, but watch this. There's an actual place as you read what to do for you to touch, so cleaning the thread catcher. Step one, remove the presser foot and needle. Uh, next, lower the feed dog, so that is one thing I haven't done yet, so I'm gonna reach over here on the side of the machine. Make sure that button gets pushed in all the way so it stays indented and remove the stitch plate. Next, select the link. See how this is a blue area? And move the thread catcher out and touch the automatic thread cutter button on the head frame afterwards. So I'm touching this button, and what it does is it moves everything kind of out of the way. You kind of saw everything shift this way, and it even has the needle kind of in the down position. So that means you can get in here, and if there's any threads that have been um, kind of caught, this is how it has been released, so you can cut it. Now this thread right here is once again my bobbin thread, so I'm not really worried about that, but definitely make sure you're not using any canned air, just a brush, anything that you can suck out the lint with, that would be ideal. Um, this brush comes with the machine, and of course, while you've got your brush out and your throat plate off, you should probably go down here, clean out all that extra lint, and put a little drop of oil on the hook. Remember, we wanna do that every bobbin or also each day you sit down to sew. Trust me, this Bernina loves oil. Okay, so next, just kinda of scroll up. Their thread catcher is moved to the right. Remove the lint using a pair of tweezers. Tweezers are also another great choice for getting the small things out of the way. Next, select the link. Okay, so I'm gonna to touch that little blue and notice it doesn't really do anything, but there is a quick little, like um, it knows that you've done it and then touch that a automatic thread cutter button on the head and everything gets put back to position. This is where you're done. Attach the throat plate, put the needle and foot back on and bring those feed dogs up and you have cleared out anything that might be preventing your thread cutter from cutting the thread. Now one other thing that I have noticed with the machines if you are buying inexpensive thread, it looks like a great deal, you buy it, some thread is actually like stretchy. And stretchy thread sometimes don't do well with a cutter. So it kind of comes in and it's trying to cut it, but the thread is actually not allowing it to because it's got some stretch in it. I know, who would make stretchy thread? But there's some low quality threads and that's the tendency and then that really makes the thread cutter not act as it should. So make sure you're using good quality thread. Take care of your machine and it will take care of you. Check out all of our videos at sewingmastery.com and learn everything possible about your Bernina sewing machine and embroidery machine.